guys, it's Jane. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you 10 places that you should know in Japanese before going to Japan. So let's get started! As a foreigner in Japan, when you are here, things might get messy. Things might happen that are out of your control like getting sick. So the first word that you should know when you are here in Japan is hospital in Japanese. Hospital is bioin. 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 Hospital. Jibika. Jibika. Ear and nose clinic. Bioin. Bioin. Hair salon. Hospital or bioin and hair salon or bioin might sound similar to us foreigners. So let's practice once again. Bioin, bioin, hair salon. Konbini, konbini. Convenience store. Japanese just shortened the word convenience store into konbini. Re su to ran. Restaurant. Restaurant. Shoku do u. Shoku do. Diner. De pa a to de pa to department store. Just like konbini or convenience store, department store in Japanese, they just shortened it to de pa to. As you noticed, de pa to has double A's. So you have to elongate A. So it's de pa to, not de pa to. De pato. No. It should be de pato. De pato. Su pa a ma keto. Su pa ma keto. Supermarket. Words in English that end with er are pronounced in Japan as a. A. Let's take teacher as an example. In Japanese or Japanese English, the pronunciation of teacher is ticha, ticha. So again, in Japan, er is pronounced as a. Ka i sha, kaisha, office. Yak kyo. Yakyoku Pharmacy Now let's review Bio U in Bio in Hospital G B Ka Jibika Ear and Nose Clinic B Yo U in Bio in hair salon. Bio u in bio in hair salon. Ko m b ni konbini convenience store. Re su to Ran, restaurant, restaurant. Shoku do u, shoku do, diner. De pa a to, de pa to, department store. 
スーパーマーケットスーパーマーケットスーパーマーケット会社会社オフィス薬局薬局ファーマシー Now that we know 10 places in Japanese, I'll give you some instances where you can use this new vocabulary. Nani nani wa doko desu ka? Where is the blah blah blah? For example, where is the let's say convenience store? So in Japanese, it's the opposite. So the, the object comes first. So it's Convenience store is konbini. Konbini wa doko desu ka? Konbini wa doko desu ka? Where is the convenience store? Let's say you wanna go to a department store and you wanna ask someone where the department store is. Where is the department store? So again, the object comes first in Japanese language. So it's departo wa どこですかどこ means where So one more time デパートはどこですかデパートはどこですか Let's say your kid or let's say you got sick in Japan and you want to go to the nearest hospital So this is how you say it あ、すみません一番近い病院はどこですかすみません。一番近い病院はどこですか So guys, my next video will be about giving directions and asking directions in Japanese. But today, I will only focus on giving you some instances on how to ask where the something is. And also, let's just concentrate on the 10 places that you should know in Japanese. Another instance that I have for you is let's say you got on a taxi and you want the taxi driver to bring you to the nearest hospital. This is how you say it. If you master this Two phrases or sentences in Japanese, you will be able to go anywhere you want here in Japan. So guys, that's all for today's video. I hope you learned something from today's video and see you on my next one. Mata ne, mata aimashou ne, jani.